Magby is going to go for tackle. And how much damage is that going to do? Is it enough? It is. We take down Wobbuffet with a whimper. Hello and welcome to Metromania. Last week we said goodbye to Wobbuffet and why not? They just couldn't take the heat against Magmorta and Magby. And now there is just one place remaining in our semi-final lineup. So we're going to find out Magmorta and Magby's opponents today as we see the team of Azaril and Azumarill taking on Elekid and Electivire. Let's go, mate. So here we go. It's Azaril and Azumarill taking on Elekid and Electivire. Which of these two teams is going to be our final semi-final team for Metromania Season 11? Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to come out victorious. And then, you know, reply to that comment later on. Let me know if you were right and what you liked about the battle and stuff. Electivire playing the risky game. Going to start things off with Sandstorm, which means everybody's going to take chip damage at the end of each turn for the next five turns. And here comes Elekid. Its first move is a super effective... Tro oh, no! No Sap Zipper from Azumarill! So the Trop Kick is absorbed by Azumarill, and instead of its attack going down, which is what Trop Kick would have done, its attack is going to go up! Azumarill goes for hold back onto Elekid, saying, hey, thanks for the attack boost. I'm going to go easy on you for this turn. And now over to Azaril, who's going to go for Wish, and if it takes any damage in the next couple of turns, maybe it'll get restored. If it lives long enough, I guess is the, uh, the ever-present concern there. But of course, here comes the Sandstorm damage, which is going to be applied at the end of each turn there to all four Pokemon at the moment, because none of these Pokemon uh, are immune to Sandstorm damage. Really could go either way right now. I thought that was going to be such a strong start from Elekid, who's starting off the next turn. What's on its mind this time? It's going to go for Flamethrower. I mean, that is not going to get absorbed by Sap Sipper, that's for sure. So that's going to do some not very effective damage to uh, Azumarill there. Maybe Elekid was hoping to counter that attack boost by getting the burn on Azumarill. Maybe that was the play. Here's a false swipe from Electivire onto Azumarill as well there for a decent chunk of damage when you consider it's only false swipe, so it's like base 40 power. Uh, we see Blue Flare from Azumarill onto which opponent? Onto Electivire there for a good chunk of damage. And now over to Azaril with the follow-up. What's on Azaril's mind right now? It's going to go for Hyper Beam. Wow, Azaril bringing out the big guns early. Here comes the Hyper Beam onto Electivire there for a... Not as much damage as you would like off a Hyper Beam. Let's not beat around the bush. It does mean that Azaril has to uh, has to recharge next turn as well. And of course, everyone's getting buffeted. Take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so that you never miss an episode of Metromania. Although, make sure you set notifications to all. Otherwise, you might miss an episode of Metromania. <laughs> you know, that's how YouTube be. And also check out Pokemon WTF Moments. Literally the best series this channel has ever come out with. Here is Electivire starting off the next turn with Seed Bomb. And we don't see Sapsip activate, so we know it's on Azaril for a not super effective hit. I was going to say it would be super effective, but it wouldn't be because Azaril's normal type. I kept making the mistake in the heat. It's literally on screen, Leon. Here's a rapid spin from Elekid, which will do neutral damage to Azaril, but also increase Elekid's speed by one stage. Azaril now less than half its max HP remaining. Here comes Azumarill with Doom Desire, so I get to say it. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Azumarill chose Doom Desire as its destiny! And if you think that's cringe, just remember the words that I literally just spoke. That's a real thing that's in this game. That's cringy as all hell, isn't it? Everyone's getting buffeted by the Sandstorm, which is equally as cringy as Doom Desire. Everyone just taking a little cheeky bit of chip damage there as we move forward into the next turn. Of course, Elekid's now the fastest thing on the field. That little dynamo is going to go for Healing Wish, but it is going to fail. Why be faster than everyone else if you're going to waste your turn, mate? Here's Electivire going for Flail. And it's at quite high HP, so big damage from the Flail. Takes out Azaril very easily there. And now Azumarill is on its own with the big boys. What's Azumarill going to do here? It's going to go for Tearful Look. And that is going to land on Electivire there. Poor Electivire. So Electivire is going to lose one stage of its attack stat and its special attack stat. And once again, everyone's going to get buffeted by that Sandstorm. Electivire getting very close to the danger zone there. Azumarill is almost at half its max HP. Elekid's still sitting pretty right now. But Azumarill is very much outnumbered on the battlefield at this moment in time. Here comes Elekid starting off the next turn of battle. Elekid's going to go for Psychic. How much damage will that deal to Azumarill though? 
a decent chunk of damage there, absolutely. Like, that's commendable for an Elekid. And here comes Electivire with a Skull Bash. It's going to tuck in his head and raise his defense, first of all. Now, do remember that Skull ba uh, the Skull Bash will be reduced in power because Electivire is at minus one attack and special attack. Here's an Energy Ball from Azumarill onto which of its opponents? Onto Elekid there. And also getting the special defense drop on Elekid. Great play there. Azumarill could potentially turn this around, although Skull Bash is about to happen. Here's the Doom Desire on Electivire. Brings it into the danger zone. Not enough to knock it out, though. So Azumarill is not out of the woods yet. But let's see what uh, Elekid goes for. And it's going to go for Yawn. Trying to put uh, Azumarill to sleep there. Of course, it won't fall asleep this turn. It'll fall asleep at the end of next turn. So Azumarill needs to make the next two turns count. Here's the Skull Bash from Electivire. Big damage. If it wasn't for that attack drop, Electivire probably would have knocked out Azumarill. Here comes Azumarill with the Healing Wish. That's going to fail. That's a waste of turn. That might be the writing on the wall for Azumarill in this particular round. It may need to come back in round two and regroup with Azuril. Here is Elekid, though, with a Cotton Spore, which is a Grass-type move. So Azumarill's uh, attack stat just went up by another stage. So unless Electivire can take out Azumarill now, we see a Bubble Beam. Will that be enough? Bubble Beam on a Water-type. Is it going to be enough at minus one special attack as well? It's not quite enough. Azumarill lives on a single hit point. It now has an opportunity with plus two attack. Goes for Defense Curl. What a bad play there. A Rock Slide or an Earthquake could have finished this battle off for Azumarill. But now it's asleep because of the Yawn. Oh, that's got to be. That's got to be it for Azumarill now. Fast asleep with one hit point is not a safe place to be when you've got two opponents on the field. Here comes Elekid, who's going to go for Spark. Super effective. Doesn't even need to be super effective. Could have been not very effective and it still would have worked. Down goes Azumarill. Let's hear from our sponsors. Oh, look who it is. It's bloody Liam again. To remind you to use code ACE to save money on G Fuel, what a surprising tons this is. But seriously, I don't just say it for fun. Every time you head to gfuel.com and use code ACE to save yourself some money on the wonder that is G Fuel, it also helps out this channel so, so much more than you could ever know. So thank you to everybody that uses code ACE. Today, I'm drinking the fantastic Wumpa Fruit. That's the Crash Bandicoot inspired flavor. A taste of apple with a little bit of mango in there. Mwah. Very, very nice. Oh, it really is so goddamn tasty. Make sure you go bag yourself some G Fuel using code ACE for 10% off. Although do remember, make sure you only order if you're over 18 because it contains caffeine and children, you really don't need caffeine. You're really annoying as it is, so you don't need any more energy. And of course, because it contains caffeine, just make sure you drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead. Welcome back to round two of Metromania season 11. Quarterfinal four, there we go. Almost forgot, but I got back on track. We see Azumarill and Azuril 0 to 1 against Electivire and Elekid. So Azumarill and Azuril need to equalize to stay in this competition. Electivire and Elekid just need one more victory in order to move on to the semi finals to face Magmorta and Magby. Up goes Electivire's special attack and special defense by one stage apiece after that Calm Mind. And now over to Elekid for its first move of round two. And it's going to go for Baby Doll Eyes and lower the. That, I want to say it's an attack, but it might be special defense. Azrael, its attack went down by one stage. Which one am I thinking of? The special defense. Let me know in the comments. And here's Azumarill with a seed bomb, landing it on the Electivire there for a good chunk of damage to start things off. So not a bad play. And now over to Azrael, see if it can follow up as well. Goes for Wish. It did this in, in round one. So sure, I don't think did its Wish come through and come true in round one. I don't quite remember. Let me know if you remember. I mean, you could just pause the video, go back and check, but why would you do that? That'd be really, really sad. Here's Electivire, though, with Safeguard. Wants to make sure it's not getting any kind of status conditions going forward for the, well, for the foreseeable few uh, turns. Here's Elect... Uh, Le 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 I can't say it now. I was going to say Electivire, and then I tried to correct myself by saying Electivire. Here's Elekid with stuffed cheeks, but nothing happened. So here's Aquatail from Azumarill. Same type attack bonus behind it. Big damage there to Electivire. And now over to Azuril. And Azuril is going to go for Dig, which will be super effective on whichever its opponents it chooses to face on the next turn. And also protects it for the next turn against any potential damage. Unless its opponent uses Earthquake, in which case it's screwed. But here's Electivire. Let's see what it's going to choose from that Metronome selection. Goes for Poison Gas. That will be avoided by Azuril because it's underground. 
but now Azumarill is the uh, is poisoned, which means it is now on a timer. That does mean its HP is slowly going to wear away at the end of each turn. And here comes Elekid putting up a substitute. So it's going to protect itself, sacrifice a little bit of HP in order to protect itself from hits going forward. And now Azumarill is ready to retaliate and it's going to go for fly. It's going to fly up high, avoid any potential damage before the end of the next turn when it does a not very effective move against the opponents. There's the super effective dig, but of course the substitute takes damage uh, in place of Elekid. Azumarill is hurt by the poison and it isn't enough to break, the, the dig wasn't enough to break the substitute of Elekid. So Elekid's still sitting pretty there behind that substitute, getting ready with that metronome. And what's it gonna do here? It's been, it's gone for Perish Song. Wow, wait, wait, but Azumarill is in the air. So Azumarill is going to avoid the Perish Song. It's not going to hear the song, which means the timer is on Elekid, Electivire, and Azuril. So if Azumarill and Azuril can survive the next three turns, they've won. Corrosive Gas from Electivire, again, is also going to be avoided by Azumarill. It's going to corrode the Leper Berries of, of, of uh, just Azuril. Sorry, not the Leper Berry. Uh, it corroded the Eviolite of Azuril. Uh, Elekid was protected by behind the Substitute, so it, it didn't lose its berry. Uh, the Fly didn't do a lot of damage to uh, Electivire there from Azumarill. Here's a Noble Roar from Azuril though, onto Elekid. Gonna lower the attack and special attack by one stage apiece. And my word, so at the end of each turn, there's Azumarill taking the poison damage. And of course we see the Perish Count go uh, down, to, uh, down to three. It's gonna go down to two and then down to one at the end of each turn. And when it gets to zero, those three Pokemon, Elekid, Azuril, and Electivire are going to faint. So Elekid needs to, Elekid and Electivire need to work hard here. Going for a U-turn is Elekid onto which of its opponents? Onto Azuril there. Not a great deal of damage to Azuril. Not very effective. And now over to Electivire though. This is getting dangerous for Electivire and Elekid. We see Gastro Acid going to suppress the ability of the uh, Azumarill there. So no more Sap Sipper for Azumarill going forward. Azumarill though is going to go for Topsy Turvy and swap the stat changes of Electivire. I can't remember what stat changes Electivire has had in this battle. Again, if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Here comes Azuril though. Azuril is going to fire off. Oh, it's just going to go for Splash. It knows that the Perish Song is in effect. It's probably feeling confident because it knows that Azumarill just needs to survive two more turns. Takes the poison damage, but it's a very, it's, it's a considerably high HP. It's a, a lot more than half its max HP right now. Um, so it doesn't really have to worry too much about the Perish Song at this stage. Uh, Elekin and Electivire need to make sure they're targeting Azumarill as much as possible if they want to take the 2-0 victory. We see Volk Switch though from the uh, Elekid here. Onto Azuril for a big chunk of damage there. But again, not attacking the Azumarill. That's the problem there. That's the problem that Electivire and Elekid are having. We see Shadow Force from Electivire, so it's going to disappear for a turn. But again, it's wasting a turn. It's not using the turn to, to take on Azumarill like it probably should be. Here comes Azumarill, who's going to go for Ember. It's, it's avoided by Electivire, so now over to Azuril. Azuril is going to go for Tickle. It's avoided. Uh, it doesn't affect Elekid. Really? Why does a tickle affect Elekid? I'm confused. Uh, Electivire's Perish Count. Everybody's Perish Count falls to one. As Azumarill... Oh, Safeguard. That's why it didn't affect Elekid. There you go. That that tells me everything I need to know. And here comes Elekid at the start of the next turn, though. What's Elekid going to do here? It's going to go for... Man, the substitute makes things take so long. Here's a Bolt Beak from Elekid onto which of its opponents... Onto Azuril, double damage because it moved before Azuril, so down goes Azuril, it faints. Now we just have Electivire and Elekid, and that guarantees the Shadow Force is going to land on Azumarill. How much damage is it going to do? Azumarill's in the danger zone, which means the poison damage. How much poison damage is that going to do? Here's an Avalanche from Azumarill. Is this the last turn of Perish Song as well? I think it is. So depending on how much poison damage, as the substitute fades, depending on how much poison damage Azumarill takes, Oh my god! At the very last possible moment, the poison takes down Azumarill. So Electivire and Elekid have clutched their way into the semi-finals. That is incredible. We are going to a pride round. This last round is for Azumarill and Azuril to leave the Metromania Stadium with their pride intact. Here comes Elekid starting things off, but my word. That poison and that shadow force and that bolt beak 
all of those things transpired at the last possible moment to save Elekid and Electabuyer. I mean, it would have gone to a third round and, they, you know, Azumarill and Azrael would have equalized, but still, Electivire going for Fly here. Um, so there still would have been a possibility that Elekid and Electivire could have won a third round and then still gone through to the semifinals that way. But even so, that was a very clutch moment with that Bolt Beak saved Elekid and Electivire. Here's Sludge Bomb from Azrael onto Elekid there, gets the poison after not much damage, but puts the timer on Elekid, meaning that Elekid may not last out this battle. Of course, Electivire is still up in the air. Azumarill and Azrael still sitting pretty with full HP right now, as is Electivire, to be fair. Here comes the fly from Electivire. Big chunk of damage there to Az uh, Azumarill. And now Elekid looks to follow up. What's on Elekid's mind? He's going to go for Gust, which, you know, should be quite gentle, actually. Yeah, not a great deal of damage. A little bit of chip damage there to Azumarill. Really the key player of that team. Uh, we see False Swipe from Azumarill. That's not going to do a great deal of damage to Electivire. Just a bit of chip damage. I mean, even if it had been, like, plus six attack, it wouldn't have knocked it out. Left it on one HP, wouldn't it? Spore is ineffective from Azrael on Electivire because of the Vital Spirit hidden ability. There's the poison damage taking its toll on Elekid bit by bit. Really, I feel so bad for Azumarill and Azrael. That was such a tough battle for them. And they were so close to winning it after that Perish song. Here's Ally Switch from Electivire. Going to swap places with Elekid on the battlefield there. Just to confuse the issue a little bit more. And now Elekid is going to fire off whatever move the Metronome spits out for. It goes for Tri Attack. Potentially hoping to freeze, burn, or paralyze Azumarill. Will it get one of those status conditions? It doesn't. But now Azumarill has the opportunity to fire back. And Azumarill is going to go for Aero Blast. Avoided by Electivire. So I guess now we just jump straight to Azumarill. And see what Azumarill is going to pluck from the Metronome bag. Goes for Giga Impact. My word. This Azumarill has used Giga Impact and Hyper Beam in this battle. It really means business. Didn't do much damage to Electivire at all. But it probably feels quite tough. And isn't that just adorable? Going to have to recharge next turn though. So Electivire and Elekid will both get to move. As Azrael will, will be the only member of its team that gets to move on the next turn. Here comes Elekid, starting off with Skitter Smack for this turn, which is going to do physical, not very effective damage to Azrael, but also going to lower its special attack one stage whilst it's a sitting duck and having to recharge. Now Electivire has the opportunity to fire off some kind of attack. Goes for Spit Up, but it's not stockpiled anything. So over to Azumarill now. And what's Azumarill going to do? Going to go for Fissure. Oh, it really, it's really angry. And I'm not surprised. Feeling a little bit bitter there. Went for the one-hit KO move. Elekid is hurt by the poison once again. But of course, we know Elekid and Electivire are the fastest things on the field. They're going to start off the next turn. Here comes Electivire gearing up that metronome. And it's going to go for Noble Roar, lowering the attack and the special attack of Azumarill there. Doesn't want it to be able to mount any credible offense going forward. Wants to go for that 3-0 because there's a certain sense of pride that comes with beating your opponent in all three rounds. We see Spirit Shackle, but that doesn't affect Azumarill. So Elekid wastes its turn there. And now Azumarill fires off a Leaf Storm. Onto which opponent there? Onto the Elekid for a decent chunk of damage. Of course, Elekid's still poisoned. Azumarill's special attack is now at minus three after the Leaf Storm and the Noble Roar. Now Azuril is going for Fire Fang, maybe hoping to burn the Elekid. It can't burn the Elekid because it's already poisoned. Should have really gone for the Electivire. There's more poison damage. Elekid has about one turn left now. So if I was Azuril or Azumarill, I would focus all my fire, all my offense on the Electivire. But then who am I to judge? Here's Elekid with a milk drink, says this isn't my last Last turn, mofo. I'm going to restore 50% of my max HP and put myself right back up into the green health there. Although at the end of the turn, it'll go back to yellow, but you know what I mean. And here comes Electivire, who's going to go for Power Gem. And where is Power Gem going to land? Looks like it's on Azuril there for a great big chunk of damage to Azuril. Azumarill, what are you going to do in response? Azumarill's going to go for Octazooka, maybe looking to lower the accuracy of Elekid there. Brings it down to less than half its max HP once again. Doesn't get the accuracy drop. Very unfortunate. Here, here's the glare, but that's going to fail from uh, from Azuril. I believe that's because you can't paralyze electric types, but also could be because Elekid is already poisoned. You can't states condition a Pokemon that already has a states condition. Uh, but here we go. With uh, the next turn, Elekid is ready to go. Can't believe it's still in this competition. Goes for Shadowbone, and it's going to land on Azumarill there. 
for a decent chunk of chip damage there. Azumarill not looking too fresh right now. Here comes Electivire with the X Scissor. That's going to be not very effective, but it is going to be doubled into Azumarill, who's now in the danger zone, really suffering here. Really needs to respond with something. Azumarill is going to go for Cotton Guard. So it's going to increase its defense by three stages, which is a great play there, especially against physical Pokemon like Electivire. Here comes Azuril now. What will Azuril do? Its, it's teammate is suffering. It goes for Quiver Dance. Going to increase its speed, its special attack, and its special defense by one stage apiece. And I did a little hiccup and a burp at the same time. I'm proud of myself. How What a talented, multitasking gentleman I am. Elekid is suffering again with the poison there. And what... I mean, which way is this going to go? Who's who's your money on? Are we getting a 3-0 and oh, or are we getting a 2-1? to one? Here's Electivire with a Zen Headbutt onto the Azuril there. Can Azuril take the Zen Headbutt? It can. It sits in the danger zone as we see Elekid... Get itself ready, preparing itself with an Ember. That's not going to be very effective on... Oh, it's on Azuril, so it's going to be neutral damage. Doesn't get the burn, though. Now Azumarill has an opportunity here, and Azumarill is going to go for Fire Lash. Maybe looking to lower the defense of Electivire. There's the defense drop. Brings Electivire down to less than half its max HP, but it could be too little too late at this point. They're both in the danger zone, are Azuril and Azumarill. As Azuril goes for Rock Wrecker. Azuril is so confident in its own ability, isn't it? Goes for Rock Wrecker. Does a decent chunk of damage there, but it's going to have to recharge on the next turn. Elekid falls into the danger zone because of the poison. Everybody's in the danger zone now. So this really could go either way this round. Azumarill and, Azumarill and Azuril could leave with their pride if they really try. We see Electivire go for Tail Whip, lowering the defense of both Azumarill and Azuril there. But that does give them both an opportunity to fight back, depending on what Elekid goes for, I suppose. Uh, as... It takes its moment with this turn. What's it going to do? Going to go for Spit Up. And it did stockpile earlier. It has it has stockpiled. So Azuril goes down because of the Spit Up. Is that the first time we've ever seen Spit Up work in Metromania? Of course, down goes its defense and its special defense by one stage apiece because of the stockpiled effects. And now Azumarill against two opponents. What will it do? It's going to go for Aurora Veil, which is going to fail. Elekid taking the poison damage. Is it enough? Down goes Elekid. We're down to just Electivire and just Azuril. But Azuril needs to survive. It all depends on what Electivire does here as to whether or not Azuril can leave with its pride. Lands Wrath from Electivire. Is that going to be enough to take down Azumarill? Azumarill is down. It's a clean sweep. 3-0. Electivire and Elekid are your final Season 11 semi-finalists. So Electivire and Elekid will be facing Magmorta and Magby in the semi-finals. But of course, before that, we have semi-final number one that pits Snorlax and Munchlax against Togepi and Togekiss. Make sure you don't miss it. So thank you for watching another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash Liam to hang out with me in the community in one of my live streams and use code ACE for 10% off G Fuel. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.